This is the Tonschreiber, built in 1939 and finished building in 1944. This is basically one of the very earliest tape recorders designed to play on uh, plastic tape. Uh, there were earlier machines, the AEG K1 and K0. K0 was never produced to the mass public and the K1 was mainly for radio stations but uh, this one was basically an adaptation of the same machine and was put into military use. The recorder is very unusual to the rest of the transcribers as this one is a multi-speed machine. The speed controller on it is very difficult and very hard to use. You've got basically what's called um, a taco there which is designed to run with the capstan. When that turns it gives a reading on the meter. The idea would be that you would select the speed you want, which are all odd speeds, set them, uh, press the start, uh, put it into start mode, and then press the start button, which would give the capstan an initial start. And once it got to the right speed, as as the set presettings weren't exactly accurate, that's why you have the taco there. You then have another controller underneath it to then fine-tune the speeds. The recorder uses oxide-out tape. It uses 11-inch reels. There are a list of instructions on how to operate this machine. Uh, down here you have a list which tells you basically the starting functions of the recorder. Basically what it says is to make sure the machine is on the off position and then set this controller to network or mains input voltage and then that will tell you up on this meter exactly what voltage is, is coming in. Once you've worked out what voltage is coming in, you then set it on the voltage selector gauge down here. Then, once that has been set, then you can throw the power switch. Once the machine has been started, to play the tape is a bit elaborate. First off, what you would have to do is you'd put the tape into play mode, like that. This would take a long time for the capstan to build up enough inertia so what you do is you press this button which allows a, a direct tapping from the mains transformer and gives the capstan boost uh, it gets the capstan to speed up very quickly once you take your finger off it it then starts to slow down in speed once you've got it running to more or less the speed you want selected by this controller here to get the correct speed out of it then you would need to then gauge it by the the caps and taco there and then using the fine adjust then set the preset levels it seems to be that the second meter is used for telling what the output voltages are the control to the left here seems to be for calibrating the input signal control for the right is the output signal there is also a magic eye that one there is for the volume output but by the looks of things um, my German isn't very good but I believe that you can also select from this control dial what is displayed on the output meter either the sound input or the sound output this vent here hides two very large valves inside the valves are basically work in a push-pull configuration to drive the capstan motor on almost every item of this machine you'll have a swastika um, one on the main deck, two on the amplifiers because um, they come in separate units, one on each reel and um, on all the valves 
what looks like a pulley is actually a set of four heads. This machine is very clever as it's designed to record Morse code at high speed. Because the Morse code high speed is usually quite difficult to decipher, uh, what you'd normally do is slow down the tape by four times, but unfortunately when you do that with a machine like this, you do not get any signal from it you, and you cannot hear the Morse being replayed. You engage this and basically you can then spin this, these four heads four times faster than the tape is actually going to bring up the frequency response four times. Um, again, it's a, it is a completely variable control, so you'd be able to speed up and slow down for the best pitch and sound that you needed. The recorder has this large speed selector. All the speeds are not standardised. Um, they're all very close to a standardised speed, but not the, same, not the correct ones.